Oh. I didn't see you there. Sorry you caught me late at night. I just took a bath. And it looks like we've got one last game to play in the regular season of the VBLS. We managed to go two and two. And there's only one more person standing in the way of our playoff run. And they're a dear friend. So no matter what happens, this battle I'll be happy. Whether I go or whether they go. But it's bittersweet. Because if I defeat them, then uh, they don't get to battle it out in playoffs with their cool team. And if they defeat me, well, that's the end of our run. So we'll give it all we got. And wish you good luck and have fun to our opponent. This week we're taking on Electric, who's drafted an all black Pokedex color team with many Pokemon that are not black at all. Or is it gray? Well, they've got a black heart this game. And we'll be giving them a little light and perhaps bringing them back to Earth. This is the matchup. All black everything, as you can see. Very, very gray black team. Urshifu, Fluttermane, two of the strongest Pokemon to grace this format, but along with spending their points there, not much else to speak of on the team. Not to say that I'm underestimating stuff like the Sandy Shocks, the Vivalon, and the Ninetales. They're all coming, and they've all been quite good for Electric this season, as has the little baby, excuse me, Arctifacts. Probopass Falooza could certainly be here. There, All three of those Pokemon are doing setup, which the rest of these Pokemon are quite good at doing. Honestly, at the beginning of the season, I underestimated Electric's team in the power rankings. Uh, not having a strong poison type or steel type to counter fairy types or Urshifu to me was a major issue. But what I really neglected to pay attention to was this team is just going so fast and hitting so hard. It's pretty tough to play around. And Electric's been doing well, picking up some good wins against strong players. But what are we going to do to beat this team? Well, Slacking is not coming today. He's staying on the bench. Baloo is taking his well-deserved rest. In fact, Weezing isn't even neutralizing gas. Look back at the matchup. Neutralizing gas isn't going to turn off protosynthesis. It'll turn off Unseen Fist, Friend Guard, Compound Eyes, Sharpness from the Palooza. But Electric's definitely going to be running an Ability Shield on the Ninetales, so really there's not a lot of a point bringing that, especially when Weezing has some other abilities. Let's see what this team has in store. First off, it's Toothless. I'm trying to get this game done early in the week, just before Christmas, so... Don't have our full details here, but this Pokemon is holding the life orb, not the booster energy. And we're running Earthquake, Rock Slide, Tailwind, and Protect. No stab. It's Terra Ground. Terra Ground, Adamant, Sun Boosted, Life Orb, Earthquake. Next to potentially a Pokemon with Levitate. Potentially even a Pokemon with Helping Hand. Electric Team has one resist, two ground in the Vivalon. Which is a Pokemon I've noticed they haven't really brought a lot this season. Um, we have Rock Slide for that, and Earthquake for everything else. With Terra Ground or Helping Hand, Earthquake kills Fluttermane and Ninetales. With Terra Ground and Helping Hand, it kills Sandy Shocks. And with Terra Ground, Life Orb Boost, Protosynthesis Boost, and Helping Hand, it's enough to kill most Urshifus. Helping Hand? Coming, of course, from Bronzor. Angelic support this week, floating above it all, of course holding the Eevee Light with Trick Room, which is great into this team. It doesn't have a great response to a fast mode besides a potential imprisoned Trick Room Flutter main, which I don't think is worth bringing into this team. And this Bronzor doesn't even need to go fast. Rain Dance is great versus the Ninetales, preventing it from getting up the sun. We've got Levitate to hang on next to the Urshifu, next to the Urshifu, next to the Roaring Moon, and then Helping Hand to boost those Earthquakes to sky-high damage. Gyro Ball can actually one-shot a lot of Flutter Bates. Uh, we've got Terra Grass on this Pokemon to have an option versus the Vivion. It can set Trick Room in its face if it wants to be going for Rage Powder and uh, Sleep Powder stuff. Iron Man Scizor. This is Choice Scarf Scizor. This Scizor looked really terrible this matchup. Doesn't really do anything to Ninetales. 
gets prioritized by Sucker Punch with Urshifu, blown up by Mystical Fire on the uh, Flutter Main. The Choice Scarf is enough to get around the tough Ninetales matchup and tough Sandy Shelf's matchup and get an edge here. We've got Bullet Punch with Choice Scarf is going to outspeed the Urshifu Sucker Punch. Close Combat is very good into stuff like the Urshifu and also is going to be our strongest neutral move into stuff like the Ninetales and the Sandy Shocks. Dual Wing Beat is great to pick off an Urshifu, to pick off a Scarf, uh, Scarf, a Sash Vivion specifically, and u will let us get out of there if we're facing a Ninetales and we don't want to be in versus that Pokemon. Ariel, the Bubbly Bulwark. This Pokemon is strong this week. It's holding an item. What item is Melodic holding? I don't even remember. Milo is holding the Expert Belt for damage. And alongside that, it's running Ice Beam for the Sandy Shocks and any sort of Terra Grass Pokemon, as well as the Pavilion. Green Kiss with Expert Belt is going to be able to KO the Urshifu and Hydro Pump for a good move into Ninetales and Sandy Shocks. And a just generally strong move, especially if I set up Rain with Bronzor. And it is Terra Fairy. Terra Fighting, Terra Ground. Okay, I remember all my Terra types now. Next Pokemon, the Weezing. The Weezing is here, but it is Levitate Weezing holding an Assault Vest. If we wanted an Assault Vest Pokemon on this team versus mainly special threats, and it's a fairy type, so it beats the Urshifu. We've got Gyro Ball Minimum Speed Physical Weezing here, which is going to be quite good into the Flutter Rain. When it KOing it most of the time. Flare Up also when it KOs the Urshifu, of course, before Terra. Flamethrower is going to hit any sort of fire Terra Pokemon. And Gunk Shock is going to be our last uh, stab move off of a physical attacker. This Weezing needs to be able to do damage to stuff besides Urshifu, and Gunk Shot, Flamethrower, Gyro Ball is how we do that. Flamethrower is also good into stuff like the uh, Vivlog as well. Frozone is our last component. If Bronzor goes for Trick Room, this Pokemon is having a very good matchup. We've got Terra Ground Earthquake on this Pokemon as well to attack with that specific set from both sides. We've got a Brave Nature, of course. Loaded Dice with Icicle Spear is enough to kill uh, most Flutter Mains. Rock Blast is good for the Vivalon. Body Press is good for Urshifu. You'll notice we don't have Protect on a lot of Pokemon. That's because it cares on Urshifu. Yeah, in case we want to go Trick Room, this is our sweeper of choice. But Melodic and Scizor can also work quite well, as can even the Weezing. There's our challenge. This is Electric. Let's give one last check. Glowing Moon. Weezing. Oh, Terra Fire. Right. Let's us resist his Steel move and boost our Flamethrower versus something like a Terra Steel or Shifu. Minus Speed Weezing. Minus Speed Milo. Terra Fighting on Scizor to resist a Fire move or just take Neutral. Boost up the close combat. Heart is beating out of my chest. Rock on. We see no nine tails. We see no nine tails. And we see Veluza and Public Pass. Good luck, Pokemon. So something else has the ability shield. Maybe the Urshifu. Wow. Interesting. Let's right away calc. Terra Earthquake versus Veluza. Doing most of it. Hope again gets there. So the planned lead here. Oh, well, let's zoom in a little bit for the fans, huh? There we go. The planned lead here is Roaring Moon and Bronzor, but so much of this team is about killing that Ninetales. And if Ninetales isn't leading, that may not be the best plan. It's good into shocks. Good in a main. Good in a Provo. Rock slide for this. Helping hand Earthquake kills the Urshifu. Bronze War can take some hits. Um, but it's still weak to the Urshifu in the Flutter Main, so it's a tricky spot. Terra Grass is good for Vivian. If it's specifically Focus Sash, Sleep Powder with Compound Eyes, we're going to be in a tough spot, but not sure if it's going to be that. How's Weezing here? 
Oh, Scizor here has got to be really good, right? Let's get into the Veluza. Let's get into the Probopass. So this is looking like a really good Scizor game. The Choice Scarf is going to be great. Trick Room isn't as great when Probopass is here. <laughs> How's Milo? It doesn't really have a good move to hit the Veluza, huh? Interesting. So maybe that's not coming. Weezing. Let's look at Weezing damage into the regular Veluza set. Gunk Shot should be a good 2 KO. Player off could even be a 2 KO if it's no bulk. Let's go with Roaring Moon and Bronzor for helping hand Terra Ground Earthquakes. We'll see what Electric leads with. Could be any of these Pokemon. They've been very good at using Veluza, but... We could have a good shot here. I think it's Scizor, who has a good matchup here. Do I like Avalug? Well, it's slower than the Puppet Pass and can always knock it out. Trick Room does feel good versus something like a speed boosting Veluza. Wow. So, we're never going to get our attack boost on Roaring Moon, which means we're never going to want to KO our Shizu. So, I think we do want Weezing. Are we leaving Avalug on the bench? Do we want to just do Weezing with Roaring Moon as the lead? Maybe. Let's bring it in the back so we can switch it in. Alright. Fluttermane Urshifu. Photosynthesis. Speed. If he attacks my Roaring Moon, I lose. However, I don't think it's likely that he doubles up into it. Because I've got the Avalug, I think he's going to send at least one move into the Bronzor. And he can only do that if he specifically sucker punches and wind blasts me. So we're going to Earthquake. Terra Ground Earthquake. And Helping Hand. That'll kill the Fluttermane. Do a lot of damage to the Urshifu. Now, that clears out the fire move for the Scizor, which is really good. If Bronzor goes down here, which it certainly could, we're not relying on Trick Room too much. Let's do it. Terra Fire. Great. Open hand. Moon Blast. Does the Urshifu attack me as well? It does. And that's going to be the game. So game one we lose. Let's see how much damage we can, how much information we can get. So we can set up Trick Room here. This Urshifu is Scarf, and they chose to double into my Roaring Moon. It's gotta be Choice Scarf to outspeed my Roaring Moon, so that's fine. Should have gone into Weezing there, that would have been a good play, maybe a safer play. I think we can go Weezing here, because it resists the Wicked Blow. Fudamine probably goes for a Shadow Ball into Bronzor, that's probably a double into Bronzor. I think we'll just let Bronzer go down, huh? Play rough into Urshadu is pretty obvious. But if they stay in, I get my trick room. How am I going to deal with this Fluttermane? Unlikely, but I'll be able to. So we'll just trick room. Not a lot we can do here. Urshifu probably switches out. We get our Trick Room. Yep, Sandy Shox is in. Physical Fire, interesting. Oh, I'm glad we're physical. Nice Play Rough does nothing. Let's see if we get any information from that. It's very bulky. Might be max HP. Even more than that, that's physically bulky. That's like max Fizz Def or something crazy. Wow, interesting scent from Electric. Max Fizz Def on the Sandy Shox. Might be the uh, Citrus Berry. Very interesting brings, nonetheless. So let's go for a gunk shot into Fluttermane. It's not going to kill, but a helping hand gunk shot will. Which means our Bronze will live another day. If we hit a gunk shot, we've got a chance to kill. That's versus a bulky one. So if it's less bulky, we don't necessarily need a helping hand. Let's go for it, though. We don't have a lot of outs. They can certainly protect, but I mean, we're so far behind at this point. 
it's going to be really tough. Man. So what's the play versus Scarf Urshifu? They could certainly double into Bronzor. I think Avalug feels good. Because the Urshifu Scarf Electric's definitely going for some fast stuff. What do we lead next to Bronzor to get off the Trick Room? Well, let's see. If they just double into Bronzor, we need to be able to punish them. Next game. They double into Bronzor. Bronzor tears into a grass type. Terra Dark would have been better here for sure. But grass is good for the potential. Sleep powder. Helping hand. Protect. No protect. Miss. It's fine. We were already pretty far behind, so I'm not too concerned about that. Miss the fire. That's fine. Gunk shot. This is probably gonna be protect from Fluttermane, but we'll find out if it has protect, which is good. Would love to learn more about these Pokemon, but it's Thunderbolt. No worries. Let's see. Sandy Shocks, Thunderbolt, 28. It's a wheezing. It's Life Orb? No. No Life Orb. No. Thunderbolt. No Life Orb. Did 28. I think it's probably something like that. No invest. Helping him play off probably isn't doing enough. And Scizor's never gonna win here. Don't really think there's um, much else I can do. Probably shouldn't reveal more information, so I won't. We'll see if they go for any more reveals. Knowing if things have protect would be great. We can count some damage on Urshifu. Critical hit. Just killed. Insane. So wheezing into Urshifu. Helping hand. Great gunk shot. Kills. Well. Um, yeah. I don't know if that fully makes up for it, but, you know. Let's see. How are we ever going to kill this Fluttermane? It's Veluza. Well. Can't lock into Dual Wing Beat. We're always going to die to a missile fire, right? Especially if these has Protect. So what do we want to reveal about Scizor? Pretty much nothing. I think we'll just go for bullet punches so that they can't tell that I'm Choice Scarf. We can get some calcs on the uh, Veluza, maybe? Bullet punch should be doing... ...30ish. Is there any way I win this? Which is a helping hand dueling beat doing to Sandy Shucks. Nothing. Can't look into... Well, how much is close combat doing to Veluza? Yeah, not enough. Scizor isn't getting through three Pokemon. So let's just go for Bullet Punch. And Helping Hand. No shock there. Alright. Electric made that risky play. Should have switched in Weezing, man. Would have been a great, great, great start. But they're probably going to... Interesting. Interesting plays. Helping hand bullet punch just 35. Aqua cutter to 64. No life orb. Helping hand bullet punch. It did 35. Yep, so it's probably zero bulk. Let's look at that aqua cutter. 64? Might be adamant then. Yeah, that's adamant. Adamant high roll. Potentially boosting item. Unlikely. Let's bullet punch it in Fluttermane. See how much damage we get from that. Bullet punch into Fluttermane. Let's see. Fluttermane, Terra Fire. Bullet punch. Should be doing 50 to 59. Versus no bulk. Should be a 2 a KO. It is. It does 50. So they definitely got some bulk. No surprise there. Mystical Fire. Crit. Mystical Fire crit did 70%. Bronzor, so they're not modest. They are timid. We know this. Um, it's 70. So if they're max invest, they don't do that much. Oh, excuse me. So we do learn a lot. We actually learn so much. 
Um, great. I'm not going to say. Great turn one play. They know it was. Okay. So I got Aqua Cutter on Veluza. Booster Energy, Fluttermane. I think they might have gone for Protect if they had it. But they may not have it, but not really a strong um, assumption to make. Let's do that calc again. Bronzor versus Fluttermane. Shadow Ball versus Terra Grass. Not doing much. And Scarf Urshifu. Once again, not doing much. If we Terra Grass. The double up doesn't even kill. Could be going for Mystical Fire, though, which would touch the Terra Grass. Uh, Bronzor. So, Bronzor is definitely a concern. What do we want to do here? Wicked Blow into Roaring Moon was really interesting. Covered for a Terra. Very cool play. So we want to lead Weezing and the Bronzor. We want to Terra the Bronzor. Because Urshifu and Fluttermane are both outspeeding. Fluttermane has to Terra Fire in front of Scizor. We do on Roaring Moon and Bronzor. Switch in the Weezing. Last Pokemon's gonna be Avalug, and we're gonna tear ground Earthquake. But we're gonna have to use Weezing first. So, Electric is up. We need the Trick Room. Tailwind's never going up. Is it the Scarf or Shifu? Should have played around that better. My bad. Scizor's looking good once again, but I think we're leaving it on the bench. Do we want Scizor in the lead? Is Scizor better as a lead to bait? Because we could bait the Mystical Fire and go Melodic. Instead of the Roaring Moon and the Weezing. The Roaring Moon... Uh, no, not the Roaring Moon. Uh, but the Urshifu is going to want to attack... Electric is unlikely to go for the same play again, right? So maybe we do want Scizor, Milo, Avalug, Bronzor. Maybe. Let's go into the Terra Fire. Um, Fluttermane. Don't think Fluttermane goes for Mystical Fire into Bronzor. I think it's more likely to go for Shadow Ball. But if I force them to Terra Fire, they might consider it. This is tough. Yeah, this could be a 2-0 loss, and honestly, Electric has played really, really well. They made a great read turn one. They left the Ninetales behind, behind, which was a huge surprise. They brought Blueza out, which is super cool. I think we'll do the same lead. We need Weezing to switch in, and Avalug. If we have Avalug, if we have Avalug in under Trick Room, we're going to have enough turns. It's hard to say, because if Weezing comes in... Roaring Moon baiting attacks is not that realistic. But they've got to attack Roaring Moon with one Pokemon, which means Bronzor always gets off the Trick Room. Are we better off going into Avalug? No. Scizor lead, switch in Milo, potentially get a boost, but potentially not. This is probably the safest play. Um, let's think. I'm not really sure if there's something better for me to do here could do a bullet punch, helping hand bullet punch or something, but not really getting a lot done. It's baiting attacks with Roaring Moon or baiting attacks with Scizor, and I think Roaring Moon is baiting attacks better. So we'll do this, and we have to Terra the Bronzor in case of a double up. We lose out on Terra, that sucks. That really stinks. Are they likely to double the Bronzor? Certainly could. If we don't Terra Frozone, not really going to kill the Urshifu, but it can kill the Fluttermane, and we have Sturdy. I think that's what we're going to have to rely on. Let's see what Electric goes for. Urshifu Fluttermane? Yep. Yeah. Same leads as game, game one. And the Weezing switch-in is pretty obvious. I could protect. 
I would never die to a wicked blow. Protecting in front of Urshifu is pretty risky, though. They probably expect me not to give up my Terra. Losing switching might be too obvious here. Should I go for Tailwind and Trick Room? Is that crazy? <laughs> that is crazy. It's possible they don't kill either, but it's pretty unlikely. If I protect... If Flutterman goes here, if it goes there... Protect might be the play. Because Urshifu only kills me with close combat. And then we get off the trick room for sure. Then we have Avalo again. And if we're facing Urshifu at minus one, uh, minus one defense. Earthquake, Terra Ground, and Helping Hand. Could nearly kill. Nearly. Let's try it. This is a pretty... Yeah. Because if they just double into the bronze or right, I'm tearing. Protect and Trick Room. I think the Trick Room here is pretty obvious. So we Terra Steel, Terra Grass to take to potential double up and protect. Urshifu Close Combat. The mind games are pretty tough. Is it always safer to switch in? Weezing. Probably. Although having Roaring Moon out would be good. I think we do always want to switch in Weezing. Because we really need to play it safe to win this game. My hat's off to Electric. I mean, they're playing really well. Uh, it'll be an honor to lose to them if they are able to uh, pull it out. I think we are going to tear grass. I'm doing something passive no matter what with this slot, so Bronzor has to tear grass. I suppose the plan was to bait the attack. So let's do that. That feels safer. I don't think Fluttermane is going to tear a fire and Mystical Fire the Bronzor. Maybe it does. If they do, honestly. That's off to electric. Let's see what they go for. No Terra Fire. Moonblast. And Wicked Blow. Okay. That's fine then. We've got the Trick Room. Don't think they're going to expect the Gyro Ball. On the Flutter Main. No Terra Grass. Ah, that's round one. Gyroball does good damage. No, nope. that's not right. Oh, we can Gyroball the Fluttermane and kill it. Should we just gunk shot the Fluttermane? Because it probably kills with Helping Hand. But yeah, that's the play. It'll deal with the Terra Fire. There's a potential for. Sucker Punch coming out of Urshifu. Should we be attacking with Bronzor and just going to play rough under the Urshifu? Maybe. But if we get in any of these guys, we're in a good spot. I don't mind Bronzor going down. Doubling into Fluttermane is tough. It could certainly have Protect. It probably does. Maybe not. It'd be pretty unrealistic for it not to have Protect. Play rough into the Urshifu. Talk to me about Play rough into Urshifu. Always kills. Urshifu probably tears here. Fluttermane could protect. They could both protect. No, Urshifu can't protect. Okay. I think we're just gonna play rough then. And get our ball into Fluttermane. Urshifu probably tears. But potentially we get some damage off on the Fluttermane. Let's see. Um, okay, if we expect Urshifu to Terra. Okay, yep. No Terra. Okay. So we get a KO on Urshifu. Nice. I think we've got a shot then. Veluza's out. What we know about Veluza's Aqua Cutter. <laughs> Let's look 
Okay, that's better. It's gonna be choice band. That's better. 64, 2R, Scizor, Lusa, Aqua Cutter, Adamant. Could be a max roll Adamant, but it's choice band. Jolly. So it's not choice band. Uh, Hobbs lost. 35 from Bullet Punch. That's the only damage we did. Could be a Terra coming out here. Them taking a kill would be really nice. I think Roy Moon has a better switch in here. Let's go for a Gunk Shot on Veluza. And switch in Roy Moon. Nice. More slower. Psycho cut. We live. T bolt double kills. Okay. Not too bad. We've got Avalug here. Very nice. Good position for Avalug to be in. I think we're going to want to attack into the Veluza. Earthquake is going to do big damage. We can actually protect an Earthquake. Will that kill the Sandy Shocks? I don't know. We could even switch in Bronzor. Talk to me about Avalug into Sandy Shocks. Earthquake doesn't even close to kill. Talk to me about Veluza. Earthquake doesn't really finish it off there either. So maybe we Icicle Spear on my Earthquake? Does Life Orb Earthquake kill Veluza from Roaring Moon? I think it does. So let's Icicle Spear and Earthquake. Now we Earthquake ourselves. Hmm. Veluza can attack the Roaring Moon. Well, is Electric gonna tear here? I think so. Maybe we Rock Blast into Veluza. Get a kill? Rock Blast Veluza. And protect? I don't like Rock Slide. Switch in Bronze Ore. This is tough. Blueza has Psycho Cut. If I switch in Bronze Ore and go for Earthquake, I don't think they double into Roaring Moon. That'd be pretty risky. We might live anyways. Blueza could be Terra Fairy. See, does Blueza have a fighting move? Didn't give Luz enough respect. Fighting move. It doesn't. But it could be Terra Fighting Fire. Uh, Terra Blast. Is it a risk we have to take? Hmm. I think Terra Blast is probably coming out here, honestly. But Avalug is also a threat. So let's switch out an Earthquake. Let's see what happens. Once again, there's too many unknown variables here. Electric's got a great position. They're thinking for a while. I think we do see a Terra come out here. They've got a lot of resources left. That flood remains at full. We're down to basically these two Pokemon. How do we guarantee damage here? Ask Spear into Sandy Shocks. It's gonna kill. Maybe. What is that? Is that the three hit? That's a three hit. So Icicle Spear is guaranteed to kill. Versus, well, no, it's super bulky Sandy Shocks, right? Which means Roaring Moon is outspeeding it. Icicle Spear, even if it hits four times, isn't killing. An Earthquake isn't doing enough. When this Sandy Shocks Terra's, it's going to be really hard to take it down. Maybe Spear and Protect is the play. I don't know if they double into Avalug. I don't think they go for a double. But Rock Slide isn't enough to kill the Veluza, right? Ring Moon. Rock Slide into Veluza. Just about. Okay, Rock Slide's enough to kill it. 
So we'll go for the rock slide. Bicycle spear. Rock slide. I have an icicle fear that uh, we're losing Avalok here. This is a tough game state. I think Electrics position themselves really well. Do I need to save Avalog and potentially... <laughs> this is really hard to win. We've gotten the trip room up. The wheezing went down. Took a big psycho cut. Thankfully we hit our gunk shot. But we haven't made the perfect plays. That turn one play of switching out Roaring Moon was pretty poor. The double into uh, Bronzor was expected. Can't Terra. They can double into Avalok and kill it. Unless we kill Veluza. If I Earthquake, Avalok goes down. Man, this is a very long turn. So many different options. I'm electric, what am I thinking here? I've seen all four Pokemon. I have protect options. I can stall out with protect. My Terra Sandy Shocks was super physically defensive. Do I know what its Terra is? I don't think they ever double the Roaring Moon. So this is the play. Let's see what they go for. Terra Fairy on Veluza and Terra Blast. All right, there it is. GG. It's gonna be Gyro Ball into the Veluza. Is that gonna kill? Yeah. Gyro Ball into Veluza and Icicle Spear the Sandy Shocks. Really well played. Something I mentioned earlier, there were too many things to cover for. Terra Fairy was a great choice. Protect Roaring Moon would have been the play. Body Press is great into the Avalug. Doesn't do too much. We could have Rock Blasted into the Veluza. Uh, but... Oh, interesting. Gyroball's going to do a lot to the Fluttermane. We're going to Icicle Spear here. Did we get five? Nope. Citrus Berry. Doesn't matter. And that's the game. All cleaned up. Very well played. Well built. Alright. GG. Bronzor never wins. If I had Protect on Avalug, they can pretty safely just attack with both Pokemon. What's my out here? Helping End Earthquake, maybe. No, it's Trick Room. Trick Room Earthquake, Moonblast, and Earth Power. And there goes the season. Ooh! Great set. Yep. Hey. Not mad about that at all. Electric outbuilt and outplayed me. And I couldn't lose to a more kind and uh, wonderful friend. Ah. Sucks to, uh, end the season after the Cinderella story run, but hey, Electric made it work with the monocolor team. I made it work with the very funny meme of slacking and wheezing and bringing Bronzor all the time. I think we gave them a run for their money. Did a lot of damage to all the Pokemon. They had some good switches. They had enough resources to uh, close out the game. Yeah, what else can be said? This was a great season. Oh, shout out to uh, Colby, aka Kodamron, for helping me out with prep. Um, I've been doing a lot of my prep solo, asked some of the olds for help, but um, Kodamron helped me out here uh, this week, recommended the Milo set with expert belts, which uh, would have been good here. Having a special attacker would have been good. Honestly, I think I played to the best of my abilities. Um, Electric brought some unexpected stuff. Didn't see a single Protect all set. Wow. Terra Fairy, Terra Blast. <laughs> you know, the last time Electric knocked me out of playoff contention was in semifinals of a VGC League, and they uh, Terra fighting Terra Blasted my King Gambit with a Vaporeon. Uh, 
just one of those things. Rock on. What a fun season. Looking forward to some... Regulation F action. Looking forward to watching their video. Please go watch Electric's video and subscribe to them. They care much more about YouTube than I do. Uh, yeah. All right. Good night, everybody.